Paul here from iPixel TV. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can insert media items into pages. We're going to take a look at how we can insert an image, how we can insert a PDF, and how we can create custom links to access this information quickly and easily. So let's start off by loading in a page that we previously created and working with that. So we've got our basic page in front of us ready to start working on. As you can see, we've got the basic information in there. We've got a page title, we've got some content in there, and we've set up some of the basic information we need for this page to be active on our website. So the next thing we need to do is upload some media, add that into the page, tell it how we want it to interact with the page, and start creating links. So let's take a look at how we do that. There are a couple of ways we can upload files to our, our website. We can simply go to the Upload Files option, click Select Files, Navigate to where our file is located and choose our file or files from there. Second way we can do this is simply drag in and drop in the files into our actual media uploader. So what I'm going to do is drag this from my desktop onto my installation, let go and that will upload it for me. So you can see now my file has been uploaded and we've got a range of options over the right hand side now that specify some basic information about this particular file. Now it's worthwhile actually inputting some of this information now because this will apply to every single time you insert this picture anywhere throughout your site. So as a bare minimum, you really need to insert something into the alt text. This is useful for screen readers and for search engine optimization and various other things, but just suffice it to say, it's worthwhile spending a couple of seconds inputting some information about this particular picture so it, it, it improves the information that's available on your website. So I'm just gonna put a brief description of what this particular image is about and leave it at that. Now you can see we've got some attachment display settings at the bottom. We've got alignment, link to and size. Now by default when we upload a file depending upon its size the website will create three different versions of that file. It'll create a thumbnail small version, it'll create a small version and it'll create the normal full size version. So when you insert a file, you can choose what size is inserted. So you could easily have the thumbnail, and by clicking on it, you could show the full size image. There's a range of different reasons why you'd want to use these different sizes, and we'll cover those in a later video. But for now, we'll specify some basic information. I want this image to be inserted, I want the text to flow around it, and I'm gonna tell it what I want it to do if it's clicked. So the first thing I'm gonna say is that I want the alignment to be specified to be to the right-hand side, so this will position it to the right hand side of our text information. I'm going to tell it that I don't want it to link to anything, so I'm just going to choose link to none. And I'm going to specify I want the full size. And then what I'm going to do is click insert into page. And there we go. Let's insert the information to our page. Now I can click that image and I can do a few things with it. I can delete it. I can edit it. I can adjust the alignment or I can do various other things to it with the options you've got available to us. But for now, let's just remove that and let's go back to insert media again. Click the image and this time we're gonna go and choose the size to be medium just to see the difference. We insert it into the page and there's our image inserted into the page, smaller version of it floating to the right hand side. So if I want to make that into a link so I can click to do something with it, that's pretty straightforward. All I do is click on the image and you see we've got the icons at the top. And by default, you can see because we've got it set up to actually link to the image in this instance, there's already a link available on there. But what I can do is I can simply click the remove link icon and now that removes any link that might be applicable to that particular image. If I go up to the insert edit link icon, I can insert some information. So I'm going to say I want this to go to a particular page. So we'll say we want this to go to the, web, the iPixel website. A couple of other things you can do. We can specify a title, which again is very, very useful because search engines and screen readers and things like that all benefit from taking the time to put this information in there. Always make it applicable to the link that you're inserting. So for this example, we could put something along the lines of visit the iPixel website. 
do we want to open in a new link or sorry, open the link in a new window or tab? Well, in this instance, I'm going to say I do. If I wanted to link this to what's called an internal link, in other words, a link that's available as part of your website, you can click the little expanding arrow and you can find the pages that are available on your site and you can link through to those without having to type any link in whatsoever. But for now, we'll leave it to the external link to the iPixel website and click Add Link. So what that's done now is that's made our image a link and by clicking that, that would take us over to the iPixel website. So let's take a little look how that looks on the website to see how it's all worked. Okay, so we're taking a look at the website. As you can see, we're currently on the home page. If we take a look on the left-hand side of this particular design, you can see you've got home, sample page, and the little expanding arrow. If I click on that, you can see there's our second level page that we've created, sample page two. So if I click on that, that'll load in that particular page. And as you can see, the information that we've put on there, the page title, the content, and the image that we just inserted are all displayed as we'd expect them to. You can also see if I take my mouse over the image, you can see we've got the little pop-up telling us the alt information we put in there, or the title information we put in there, visit the iPixel website, and you can see it's a link by the pointing finger. So if I click on that, that'll open up a new tab and take us over to the iPixel website. Simple as that. So that's all there is to insert in media, creating links on that media, and inserting information and resizing that on your web page. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I'll see you next time.